So I am back with my character at Nutrismus, and I now will start the tutorial through Nutrismus, which isn't as initially confusing as Skullcar, but can be taken as kind of confusing if you ran into the game. Um, well, this is a terrible intro. I am sorry. So first thing you're actually going to want to do is you will want to greet the consigner, which is your initial quest. And the consigner is up this way. Just gotta go on this path, past these deer, which don't attack you, but you can kill. My FPS is terrible today. Um, and so, just follow the path up here. Take a right, which is still following the path, but nonetheless, take a right. And you'll end up at this area. Why is my game lagging? This is annoying. I am sorry. I guess it's because I just haven't been here in a long time. Anyway. So you want to go up over here through the town, which, depending on what shard you're on, this town could be filled with people. Like, the, currently there is someone on the roof there. God, my game's lagging. I don't think anyone else is around here. Apparently not. But in Chaos, I think the shard is more um, filled. Rather, the NT is, at least. Um, and also, so, you saw the tutorial window pop up there, and I just kind of closed out of it because I knew it. But that's it's just talking about the pawnbrokers and consigners, and you might want to read that. Though, basically, they kind of are just what they, their name says. So we're going to greet the consigner here, Millicent. And Hello. then she tells you some things, like, welcome, and... Then she tells you to go speak to Evariatus, Evariatus, that's how I pronounce it, or Kyrian, the dragon crafting. And so you're going to want to go down this way. Oh yeah, she does give you some EXP, and I finally got that level 4 that I didn't get before. And where's Tail Whip? At, level, at this level you get Tail Whip, which stuns your enemy for 6 seconds. Oh yes, and I finally figured out how I wanted to spec this character, so I'm going to quickly do that. There we go. So, yes, I don't actually, I don't usually put points in dexterity, but I'm gonna put a lot in this one just to see what happens. I like experimenting. Stop. Okay, whatever. For some reason, that wasn't closing with okay. So, Avari Avariatus is on your right, right here, and Kyrian is on your left. And I don't know who starts the quest lines, but I'm going to talk to Kyrian first because I think that's what she, I think she does. She's a quest bubble. Let's talk to her. And yes, she does. So here she is. She actually wants you to be attuned to the portal outside her cave, which is this portal back to Skullcar. And you might want to do that if you want to go back there anytime. And so next, you click your quest, prove your crafting skills, and then she tells you, basically, welcome to Nutrismus. And the one thing, the first thing she wants you to do is know how to create sandstone spell shards. So now, she gives you a formula, which you're going to want to scribe. And I'm going to hotkey. A beginner spe blank spell shard. This is a bit more confusing, maybe, than what you've done in the past, is that you're going to need bricks to make these spell shards, and two bricks, so... Just talk to this. Well, I don't actually know why I talked to him. So she wants you to make some spell shards, and spell shards you in, bleh, on this island. Um, the sandstone is up by Pratt's Pond, which is kind of far away. And f since this quest has so much running in it, and I don't have any speed scales as of yet for tier two. I'm going to just have to slowly make my way there, as you will have to, too. And as I said, I did get her level 30 crafting. This will not make much of a difference to you um, watching, because this just makes you craft things easier and faster, such as this spell shard thing. You m might have you might have like three or four um, bricks needed to make one. I need two, because I'm optimum, optimal on it. So... It just makes things faster, which is better for things like this. God damn it, people, don't message, don't message me on Steam. I'm trying to do something. 
So uh, just walk down this path here, past the cows. Cows over there. And then you want to keep following this path down towards the crafting... What the heck? Okay, I'm going to just check what the heck is going on. Okay, I'm now offline on Steam, so people will stop messaging me. Because that sound might be distracting. <laughs> and now I'm just going to keep running, and running, and running. And I don't think there's any shorter way to get here except for this way, so unfortunately you're going to have to run to here a lot. So the first thing, I think the quest just, yeah, first wants you to find the sandstone fields. Meaning you, the trigger for that is if, like, if I were to walk off this path and go around here, it wouldn't trigger despite finding the sandstone fields. You're going to want to keep going on this path to be able to get to the sandstone fields. And that requires you to just stay on this path, and I think right at this point it's going to trigger. Or not. Oh. oh, there it goes, like right here. So you found the sandstone field, it gives you a little bit of experience for crafter, 70,000 experience, not 100. And so the first thing you want to do is make 10 spell shards. And so we're going to go up to this and backspace or whatever, just gather. And as you can see, I'm gathering really fast. And I'm not sure how much you're going to need. It really depends on how much you leveled. But you might want to gather about 50 or 100 sandstone to make your spell shards. Because if you have um, one, if you have, if you need five sandstone slabs make a brick and then five more to make five bricks to make a spell shard you're, get, you're gonna need you need 10 spell shards so that's five times five you're gonna need 250 that's a lot holy crap I don't remember that my, my math might be wrong but anyway so that's your problem <laughs> it just takes a while it's not a huge a huge issue and then I'm just going to need to make these over here okay Oh, and for spell shards, you need to go up to the stoneworking pedestal and use your spellcraft ability and opening up your spell thing here. So that's it. It's just a new formula and a new ability. And considering I have the icon mod, it's just I have a picture of the spell shard on my ability, so it's kind of reminiscent. By the way, the last video I rendered, uh, the last two videos, came out really dark. I'm going to try and fix that on this, but there's no guarantees I'll be able to. So bear with me if it's dark, you'll still be able to see what I'm doing, but it might be a little tougher. But um, anyway, after you make those spell shards, you're going to want to go back to Kyrian, who will be down here. And the shortcut is to just walk past this loom, past the stone here, and suddenly I slow down, and I really hate how slow I walk at this level. I just got off of a level 80 hatchling with best speed skills in the game, and now I feel extremely slow. So anyway, you're going to want to walk up here, and just glide off, and her cave is right over here again. So just glide your way over here into her cave. And I have arrived. Oop, oop, uh, for some reason, it stops you from gliding like right there, and I don't know why. It doesn't do that anywhere else. So go up to here and greet her. And she gives you a silver, which is actually kind of a lot for you at this time, considering you only have 50 copper. And then she says you'll do those who do nicely. Master the skill of making spell shards, and then you want to greet her again. And then she'll tell you how to craft a spell. She wants you to make the spell Prime Bolt, and she gives you the formula here. Right click it and inscribe it. And this time, this is still going to be, actually this is still going to be in your formulas. I don't know why I thought otherwise. And now you're going to want to go and find the wisps to... Wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. This I forgot. The tier 1 spells, you don't need essence to make them. That's only tier 2 and beyond. I was really confused from both there. So let me just go back in the cave, sorry, and go and make the spell. We just need to use your spellcraft, have the thing open, stand next to an up to a um, scholar's desk, looks like this. 
and then just craft. And go back to here and talk to her. And she'll tell you it's good. And she'll give you another silver and some um, crafter experience. And now she wants to go talk to Avariatus. 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 Ugh, I can't pronounce his name. So, Avariatus. There we are. And then just greet him. And then he wants you to prove your fighting skills. And you can click these links to hear about scribing and stuff. But I think you basically should know how to scribe by now. So right click, scribe, and it should be under your spells tab in knowledge. And just hockey this wherever you want to put it. I'll put it up here. I don't need to use this because my character is melee and my melee at my default melee attack would be better than using prime bolt. But I'll hockey it anyway for demonstration purposes. So now you want to go kill some wild grillets. And now these are on the northeastern road from NT, meaning you get to walk all the way to the town over here again. And then follow the northeastern road, which you can find by your compass up here. And now it says, in order to be a challenge to you, the grillets must be at least of a rank 4. And so, a rank 4 grillet, those are not found easily outside the town. So this is the northeastern pass path. And so you walk out here and you're like, oh hey, gruelets, yay! And you might want to kill them, but no, they're only level 2 and level 1. So you're going to keep running. And you're going to have to run quite far. And I think some rank 4 um, ones are down actually over this way. But the spawn is kind of awkward and rare, so you don't want to bother. And those are just what, level 2 right there. Um, Level 2. I might be remembering wrong. I remember there being some over there. That's how I got them on my initial character. But they must have moved them. Anyway. The highest concentration is past these grulets, though. And down the path more. You're going to just want to walk down here. And then you, you'll come to this fork in the road. By these little grass beetles. And once you get to the fork, you're going to, you're going to want to take a left down this way and my FPS keeps derping and I don't know why it's dropping down from 40 to 25 randomly and it just causes this, causes this awkward jump and I really don't know why it does this so often only in new areas though well new I've really been everywhere but I don't think I've walked here recently so that's probably why so you're gonna walk down this way and you're gonna go under that log keep falling to the right path here and the grulets should be down this way in this general area and so they'll be sitting about here? oh yep here so this is guys rank 6 and all that and they're a bit above you but you can handle them so when you use prime bolt it isn't like your normal spells it loops meaning that you can sit back and use it and you'll, ca you'll cast and then you'll start casting again. That thing isn't really moved in the right area here. And you'll cast again. And again and again until you tell it to stop. Which I will. So, and you can also use attacks while you're primal up. It's just, you'll, once you stop attacking, it'll be like your default attack. So, that is one gruelet down. Out of five, and I must kill the others. And I'll join you when I'm done with that. Alright, so I'm back. I finished killing these guys. And now I'm level 5. And at level 5 you get... I think you get the... Nope, nope, that's level 7. Never mind. But at level 5 you do get these abilities like green stance and neutral stance. And I don't think these are entirely useful anymore in the game. Some All mobs used to use certain stances. Um, and some stances were more effective against the other. But now, I don't really think it does that anymore. So you're just going to have to deal with knowing you have abilities that are kind of useless. I, I've only really seen one mob that um, has a... that uses a stance, and that's the Golem, not the Golem, but the Guardian in the Fiery Rift, which is the, the special place for um, the crystal shaping quest for dragons. And I really haven't used any, seen anyone else use it except for people in the arena and people in um, um, 
Oh yeah, and some undead mobs in the middle of the eastern deadlands, but I don't think I, I don't think I actually really see many of them do that. I might be m remembering wrong. And there's one mistake that I did, and that was I didn't bind to the shrine, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. I, if I were to recall right now and I get back faster, I would... Actually, I don't even know if I explained recalling. Wow. Anyway. Um, if I were to go back and right recall now. to the shrine uh, in Skull Car, and then I'd have to run all the way to the portal, and that wouldn't be fun, so I have to run back halfway across this island to get back to the shrine. And so, the shrine... A shrine is a place where you can bind your character. And by bind, I mean you can have your character, like, attach their soul to this thing here. And when you die, you will come back to this shrine. And if you were to recall, which is a button in the little w action window up here, or I have the hockey control R. Yeah, stop, stop, thank you. Um, and it'll just bring you back to your bind point. And so the, now you're automatically bound to Skull Car, and you can see it in your character window. But when you get here, you're going to want to bind to this shrine instead. So if I were, I'm gonna, I always do this. I always jump on the shrine and then bind to it this way, because you, when you, when you recall, you come back exactly to where you were bo um, bound to. So if you jump on top of the shrine, you'll recall on top of the shrine. It's kind of funny. So I just kind of like sitting there. It's just kind of a thing I do. Anyway. Now, we have to go back and speak to a Varietus. And I actually pronounced his name right that time, and I am proud. So, he's going to be still in his, all, his little old cavern there. Off to the right. And unfortunately, I didn't glide far enough, so I have to run across this path, which takes a moment. And to the right, here he is in this cave. It actually says Dragon Adventure Trainer up there. I actually messed that up. It says Dragon Adventure Trainer, but the school itself is called sure. Dragon Adventure. And I really don't think... Uh, well, you can just say it's the Adventure Trainer. I don't know. His name is the Dragon Adventurer, though. Now, I guess it's to, you um, can handle yourself and all that. And now I think you have to actually talk to him again. And uh, yeah, now he wants to use your ability Tail Whip to go and smack some beetles around. And so the area at which the beetles are at, we actually passed before. And those are right outside the town, down the path, right underneath that big stone arch, and at the fork, the first fork in the road. And I will meet you somewhere around there when I get back. And so I will show you exactly where they are, what I mean by the stone arch, because I didn't actually look up when I walked there. So I'm back now, and my cat is currently bothering me, so sorry if I suddenly exclaim random things. But anyway, I'm back at the bridge, the stone bridge, and this is what it looks like. It's just arcs over the path, and you can actually climb on top of that if you go over there. And so, you're going to want to go under here, and the level 1 gruelet's over here, by the way. So you get, so you have a bit of a bearing, and you just want to go underneath the bridge, and you'll pop out on their side, and the beetles will be right around here. And there's one right here. So, we just need to go smack this guy. And then smack four of them. And it won't take too long, hopefully. Because it's a little repetitive killing things over and over. So, I'll return once I finish killing these guys too, because watching me kill things can't be the most interesting thing in the world. So yeah, be right back. And down goes the last of them. Alrighty, so now we're just going to want to go back to a Varietus, and that's about it. So just recall the shrine since you bound there now. At least I hope I did. Yeah, I did. And you'll pop back into town. My game seems to have froze. I really hope my game didn't just crash. Ah, crap. 